Guys, the new Macs are finally here. So I've got the 16 inch base model. I've also got the 14 inch base model. Let's start with the 16 inch because I've personally never owned a 16 inch MacBook. So I'm excited to get into this bad boy and check it out. So first things first, we'll peel off this plastic. Now, as I said before, guys, this is the base model version. So this is gonna have a 10 core CPU and a 16 core GPU. And I'm pretty excited to test this bad boy out, specifically with 4K and 6K video editing, and also some gaming. So I'm actually gonna install Parallels in a second, and we're gonna do some Windows 10 and Windows 11 gaming. But for now, let's just get this bad boy out of the box. So we'll put that off to the side. Let's have a look at the packaging first of all. So there is the MagSafe cable. Really awesome to see that it is detachable. So you actually have a lightning port at the end there, which is really awesome. You never used to have these on the old MagSafe chargers. If the cable became frayed or stopped working, you were screwed. Uh, got some documentation here, as well as the black Apple logo stickers, but we'll put those to the side who need stickers. Here is the charger. I believe this is the 140 watt charger. Still quite a small package. Um, yeah, I actually thought it would be bigger, but that's really not too bad at all. Now, obviously the head is detachable like always, which is really good to see. Cool, so we'll put that to the side. And that's it for the package, so we'll get that out of the way too. Okay, so time for the most important part of any Apple unboxing, and that's the sniff test. Smells like a hole in my wallet. Anyway, let's get out and into this package. So guys, one thing I wanted to say is I really like how they're doing the logo now. So if you remember the previous generation of MacBooks, it had the MacBook Pro on the actual face on the front of the bezel. Right now, this is actually embossed into the base of the case. This is where the serial number traditionally used to be. Uh, you can see that is actually kind of indented into the metal chassis there. So we'll get this plastic off and we'll flip it around. Okay, so that is quite a big machine. Guys, one thing that's gonna take some getting used to are these edges. So if you guys remember the old 2010 era MacBook Pro, which was coincidentally my first MacBook, it had a very similar boxy design. And I'm kind of in two minds about this design. On one hand, it kind of looks like we're going back a step to the old generation MacBook Pros from 10 years ago. Um, but on the other hand, I think Apple is going for function over form. And you can tell because this is a lot thicker than traditional MacBooks. Uh, the edges are more rounded. Looks like there's actually a vent on the side here, which is new. Also on the other side as well. And it just seems like they're focusing more on power, cooling, shoving features into this bad boy. So I'm totally fine with the bigger chassis. Now, as you can see on the sides there, we have all of the ports, including the new updated MagSafe, obviously two USB-C and a headphone jack. And then on the other side, we have that HDMI port, another USB-C, which is also Thunderbolt and the SD card slot. So let's put this down and let's open it up for the first time. Okay, so I have to say it's a really minimal design. I am really liking the keyboard. It's a really nice change from previous generations where there's actually silver in the middle. Now it's all completely black. The power button and touch ID button looks really, really cool as well. And the trackpad is absolutely massive. Anyway guys, that's enough from me. Let's get this guy into the benchmark tests and see how it performs. <laughs> 